Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with something really special right here. We got some 1996-97 Fleer basketball for you. A box of Series 1 and a box of Series 2. It's a random team break. Only 29 spots, all card ship. We got Series 1 retail packs, Series 2 hobby packs. The decadive excellent can only be found in these hobby packs right here. Right? Kobe Bryant, Allen Iverson, Ray Allen, Stephon Marbury, Ben Wallace, Steve Nash rookie card opportunities. That's pretty nice. Yeah, pretty incredible stuff. And we set set up the teams right here. So we've got Charlotte Hornets right here. We've got Vancouver Grizzlies, Washington Bullets. So we've kind of adjusted the checklist a little bit. And we took out a team too, it looks like. So I'm sure everyone saw that in the description. Big thanks to everybody here for making this happen. A lot of people buying their spots straight up. Thank you. And congrats again to the winners of the spots. That's why I have those little rooftops next to your names. Congrats. There's all the teams right here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three and a five, eight times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we got John down to Dario. Three and a five, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. All right, who hit that home run? That's right, eight for Kobe, Brendan. RIP Sacramento, where are the Lakers on this list? Sacramento all the way down to the Dallas Mavericks. Let's see what you get matched up with. John with the Kings, Matt with the Supersonics, Ryan with the Timberwolves, Bradley with the Bulls, Robert with the Magic, Michael with the Sixers, Robert with the Nuggets, Josh with the Nets, the New Jersey Nets, Jay with the Pistons, Dario with the Phoenix Suns, and Adam Kupperman with the spot that he won gets the Los Angeles Lakers. Robert with the Heat, Bradley with the Celtics and the Cavs, Christopher with the Jazz, Matt with the Trailblazers, Robert with the Warriors, Ben with the Rockets, Matt with the Hornets, Bradley with the Grizzlies, Ben with the Pacers, Mac with the Washington Bullets, Jay with the Los Angeles Clippers, Jeremy 33 with the Knicks, Brian with the Spurs, Ben with the Bucks and the Raptors with the spot that he won, Matthew with the Hawks and Dario with the Dallas Mavericks. So let's get all this on one list, one, uh, one screen right here. Let's sort this by column B. Any trades? All right, we'll pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades and then the break, stick around. All right, welcome back folks. Couple offers here and there, but in the end, no deals were done here in this two box break on a Sunday. Covering for Jason today, special Sunday. the final printout. Thanks everyone for making this happen. All right, so I guess we'll start with series one first, then we'll do series two. Now from what I understand, a lot of these cards could be, could be stuck together. So this might be a little bit of a cumbersome break. But Hey, if we if we get some nice rookies out of here, I think it'll be it'll be all worthwhile. Oh yeah, these cards are all stuck together. This is gonna this break might take an hour. I think I'm going to have to adjust the schedule. I missed the... I was hoping this wouldn't be as bad as I thought it would be, but... 
it's going to take me about an hour to get through all this. This is, uh, I'm starting with series one, which is uh, retail, apparently. Um, for break credit. Break credit for uh, for what, Smokey Brandon? Have you checked your spam folder? Or if you use multiple emails, maybe check uh, maybe check the other email. If you're, if you're watching the uh, replay of this on YouTube, I'd advise you to fast forward through this. What was the break credit from, Brandon? Looks like you won break credit yesterday. You already used it. It says two cents left on the sixty dollars of break credit. So Mike Tower saying, back in 1996. You're you're Brandon Tharp, right? That's the person who won break credit. Yeah. You don't, you don't remember using the $60 of break credit that you won from the Contender's Optic break? You used it uh, last night on the Texans. And the Saints. I'm looking at your order right now. Payment processing method gift card on those two orders. Check your order confirmation. All right. Good luck, boys and girls. It's going to take a minute or two, but we're just going to have to do it one by one.
This is going to be an adventure. Nick Van Axel, remember him? So there's Reggie Miller right here, too. All right, wait. So what, besides Kobe, what are we looking for? Stephon Marbury, Ray Allen, Allen Iverson, something like that? Yeah, I'd be I'd be happy to get any any Kobe out of here. Yeah, Adam, this is gonna be a long break. I mean, like, what well, like what if the Kobe is right here? I can't just be an animal with these cards, but you kind of have to because of the way they're stuck together. I'm gonna try to avoid handling the corners, obviously. Thankfully, each card kind of has a lip that I can kind of catch right here and try to pull. Mike Tower saying, supposedly if you store the box in the freezer, it helps with the sticking. I wish you would have told me that last night. Mike, <laughs> where were you last night? I would have kept these boxes in the freezer. No, well, yeah, send us an email to support because, because yeah, we sent the break credit. Does anyone else share your email address? We send it to your Gmail, Brandon Tharp. And then there was two orders last night where you bought the, where you bought the Saints and Contenders Optic Football. And uh, yeah, we sent it to your Gmail. So yeah, sorry. There's nothing really I can do for you now, but as far as I'm concerned, unless someone else has your access to your email, that might be a security issue on your end. But we sent it to the right place, and gift cards were used according to the order confirmations with your name on it to your to your taxi to your uh, your address in Texas. Wait, what is your last name, Smokey Brandon? I'm, maybe I'm getting Brandon's confused. Wait, where where are you located, Brandon? What, what give me the city that you live in? I think I know what happened. I, I, I see what happened. There are two Brandon Tharps, ladies and gentlemen. There's a Brandon Tharp in Texas, spells it exactly the same way, and there's Smokey Brandon, who's the OG Brandon Tharp in Indiana. All right, that makes sense. What are the odds of that? <laughs> we'll resend you that break credit after this break. What are the odds of that? I thought, 
I thought we were going crazy. I was like, there's no way. That joins our group rigs. Oh my God. Here I was thinking I was. So the wrong person with the same name got the break credit, right? There's two Brandon Tharps spelled exactly the same way. So what are these? What, what, where, where do these go? Is that from Oregon I sent the other day? Yeah, that's, that's you, Sean. Damn you, Sean. Jamming us up. As you know, there was no way you could have known. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, huh. I'm just like listening in the background. I'm like, what? What are we doing? What are we doing with these lucky number cards? Are these worth anything? <laughs> Liddy says no. All right, Brandon. So Indiana, Brandon, I'm going to uh, send you your break credit. After this break, other Brandon, I think it's like a Monopoly card, bank error in your favor, I suppose. I haven't missed anybody, right? So I feel like people would have started yelling at me if I passed by a. I know. I know. I mean, even if you get it, Kobe, these surface grades would would not be very good. You got a Jason Kidd from a pack you got off eBay. Ryan Case and saying had to peel them off. The surface is bad, yeah. Look how, look how you. Oh, I thought that was someone else. Never mind. Sean Elliott. Oh. All right. That's the first stack right there. Well, if you did your research, DJ, you would know that this is a pretty common thing. And, uh, this is a common thing. We were hoping that this box wasn't, but that's the risk we take with older products like this. Do you think the freezing would actually work? At this point, no, but... Oh, it's not going to help with the sticking, but it will, it will help the surface a little bit.
Was there a Michael Jordan Bradley? Sorry, I'm just being, I'm trying, just trying to make sure that I'm really careful with these cards. There it is, there's a Jordan. All right, good eye. Well, Vegas card shuffler, yeah, that'll work. Bradley with the Bulls, there you go, Bradley. I like voluntarily retired right there. They should just put baseball stats right in that part. Jerry Stackhouse. We're not overpricing them, DJ. No, A, no one forced you to buy into this. B, it's not like we were just like, we know these cards are going to be stuck together. So let's, uh, let's stick it to you guys. Come on, man. that I passed. Cedric Sabalos? I think Sabalos was... Right, exactly. I can't, I can't put Kobe's. Exactly, Nathan. You should, you should, be, you should be doing your, your best to uh, do research all the time. Yeah, and I can I can't put Kobe's inside here. I'd love to. That's like saying, why aren't there more Luka Doncic or Lamelo Ball cards in there? Next little stack. Thanks for bearing with us here. I know most of you understand what we're going through here. We've got a Jordan Hardwood leader card for the Bulls. It's kind of a treat seeing like Michael Jordan cards in, in these things. Vlade right here. Thanks, Bradley. Yeah, it is it is what it is. Cedric Sabalos. Yeah, some packs are worse than the others.
marinating. Yeah, these could be marinating in honey. Are these checklists, I guess I'll just randomize to one person in the break. I think there was another one that I missed earlier. Yeah, Barry's saying this is actually good compared to 93 Fleer. Logan, what's oh Logan? I was gonna tell you when you came into the room that 130point.com works again. You can look at look you can look at the sold items and see what the best offer accepted was. <laughs> well, if every single person in the break here says no to the checklist, and I'll give it to you, Brad, but I don't know if we have 100% attendance in this break. I think the fairest way to do it is just randomize them. I guess I'll throw that that lucky number card in that same randomizer too. We'll put it as one lot. All right. Now, I don't think I've missed anything big yet. We got a couple Jordans. No Kobe's yet. No Iversons. No Ray Allens. I'm trying to focus on these. Uh, just carefully separating the cards themselves but keep your eyes peeled if you spot something rookie wise and definitely let me know yeah i've been using it all day today logan good good to have i don't know when they fixed that but it's good to have that back with recent sales too Oh, the Lucky 13 Redemptions are actually tied to a player based on their number. So number 13 is Kobe, and the expired redemption does have some value. All right. So if there, if that's a Kobe one, I'll definitely get that to you. I don't think I've seen... Uh, Munut Bowl yet. Those two weren't even stuck together at all. Um, what for? Oh, to look up sales, Thomas. One three zero p o i n t dot com. One thirty point dot com. Yeah, it's a great resource. It, it, on the left, the left side link where it says sur search eBay sales is what we use all the time just to see what sold items were and it shows you what the best uh, yeah it shows you what the best offer accepted was which is always not publicly shown on um, on eBay completed sales yeah yeah thanks Ray yeah it's a great resource we use it all the time here All right, almost there. So the Bulls, Bradley has the Bulls, so he's getting all of those. Well, all card ships. You'll get these Scotty Pippins and everybody as well. Still haven't seen Kobe or Allen Iverson or Ray Allen, etc. There's another Jordan. Seen a lot of fun blasts from the past, though. It does work, right? Yes, confirmed. There you go, Logan. That makes me happy too. Look how, uh, look how young Jalen Rose looks there. Sean 
crazy story about Sean Bradley. Bicycle accident left him paralyzed, I think, which is, which is unfortunate. Terrible. Yeah, this year wasn't so bad for the Bulls, right? <laughs> Logan, you 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 gotta. I know, right? Don't get confused, folks. This is a special edition Sunday. Usually Jason's on, but I'm covering for him today. Logan, where, where, did you have uh, someone was throwing a whole box of this away? Did you have this issue too? Cedric Sabalos. Reggie Miller. Do you think the Lumiere's Nolan book is a percentage shot or for future breaks? No, I, I, I don't know anything about the Nolan Ryan Luminaries. Is that something we pulled? Dennis Rodman. That rookie Rewind? Is that Ben Wallace? Yeah, I'm assuming that's draft number. All right, there's Rashid Wallace, rookie rewind, and Jordan again, hardwood leaders. Oh, God, so it is draft position. Yeah, like they, they line up with draft picks. All right, so unless it's unless it's Allen Iverson or uh, or Kobe, we're just going to group those together if we find any more and send them to one person on the break. Oh, I have no idea. Ask Sean. He might, he might know more details on that if he's the one sending you that. Thing. I have no idea. We get we we get so much stuff in and out. People buying in. I, I can't keep track of what we have and don't have. Spreewell. No, yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about that. Nolan Ryan. Is there a player on this side of it? Wait, the, that'll go to the Sonics. There's a Jordan back there. Thank you. 
Ed O'Ban, I think, was a Laker for a while. Or was a UCLA guy for a while. And he he kind of paved the way for, if I remember correctly, for like licensing. College player licensing. Civil cases and whatnot. Almost done, and then we'll dive into series two. Yeah, Kobe went 13th overall, which is kind of wild to think about, but those are still the days where where you're just not you're like you're not drafting kids out of high school. Was KG drafted before Kobe? After Kobe, right? That's what Jesse's saying. So yeah, Kobe kind of paved the way for, opened the window for like high school players being drafted. And him and KG kind of kind of let people know that hey, there is talent to be found in the high school ranks and. And then the NBA tried to put the squash on that. Then it became one and done, and now we're undoing that rule many decades later. Decades later? Decades later. All right. I know this is tedious, folks, but thanks for bearing with me here. Logan saying bend the whole stack a little. Maybe it breaks apart a little bit better. Yeah, that seemed to help a tiny bit. Right, yeah, that was the Vlade Divac trade back in the day. No, KG was 95. Got it. Okay. 
Yeah. I mean, it's not like these are these are readily available anyway, Mike. So, but I mean, listen. If you get the right, this is just like any other group break. You get the right box, you get the right case, you get the right players in that case, and then all of this tediousness is 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 worth it. You know. Spots went relatively quickly in this too, so it looks like looks like there were people that were eager to get into this break as well, so there was an appetite for it. Hey, if the group wants to sell it out, it's gonna break. Such as Ballos used to have the 23. Alright. Seeing a few Jordans, though. Alright. Oh, here's an, here comes another box. All right, it's just box two, series two, just box two. All right, good luck, everybody. Wow, thousand dollar a pack, top shot packs are dropping tomorrow. Adam saying. Who's going to be in on that? Uh, Don, yes. I think if you look at the schedule, we have we have time all the way up until nine o'clock, and that's like a ten minute break. So, although I think I grossly misjudged the time on this, ladies and gentlemen, so I apologize. We're gonna have to shift the timing around a lot. I think this might be another forty minutes or so. But yeah, it looks like uh, I don't think there's any other break that's as, as that's going to be nearly as long as this on the website. So even if other things have sold out, if contenders if Optic Contender sells out, then we'll do it. I think Optic Contenders Five is still needs the filler to be filled. Oh, you just saw an email about Adam Singh, but you're not spending that much. Maybe it's worth it. Hard to say. I know. It's still early on in the uh, in that world, so we'll, we'll see how that pans out. I'm beginning to think so, Mike. I'm beginning to think Jason was like, wait a second, this break's starting to get pretty close. Hardship, so enjoy the 
the retro goodness in this mid 90s set. A lot of old basketball heads will tell you, the old guys will tell you, hey, this was when basketball was basketball. Right? Although maybe in the 90s they were saying, those old basketball heads were saying, this isn't basketball. The 80s, that's, that's when basketball was basketball. And the guys in the 80s are saying, no way. 70s, that's when, that's when basketball was basketball. All right. Well, let's go. Let's do this again. Although this, these are a little bit, yeah, these are a little bit smoother here. Ooh, looks like a dream compared to the other, the other one. I'm glad I saved this one for last. I'm not missing anybody in my eagerness to slide through this break here. How long? That's a good question. How long does it take for them to restick again? I hope they stay separated forever. Eddie Jones. And you know you're going to get a, a Chevy Dyer. Shaquille O'Neal. This one's a little more smoother. Wait, did I miss an Iverson? Sorry. Maybe you thought Allen Houston, maybe? Ray Allen? Aha! Uh -huh. Good eye, good eye. Michael Eberly with the Sixers. There you go. Look, look how young he looks there. It's, there you go. It says rookie right there in the top left. Oh, that's helpful. Nice. Something to keep an eye out on. So there you go, Michael. Allen Iverson. AI with the braids. Oh man, remember Travis Knight? I don't think people outside of Lakers fans will probably remember Travis Knight. Wait, did I slide past a Ray Allen? I did, because I said Allen, yes. All right, all right, all right. So we're, okay, so now we're, now we're getting somewhere here, folks. Now we're getting somewhere. So we got Ray Allen, who was a buck, Ben, with Milwaukee. And there's Ben Wallace right here uh, for Washington, Mike. Mac McCarthy with that. Jermaine O'Neal is kind of solid for a little bit too. Remember, all cards ship, so you'll you'll get all these rookies that you're seeing right here. There's Derek Fisher. That's right, he was a rookie in this rookie in this class. Uh, 
<laughs> PJ remembers Travis Knight. Derek Fisher. Another Allen Iverson. There's Eddie Jones. Ray Allen. John Wallace. Insert right here. Looks pretty cool. All right, so another Ray Allen for for Ben in Milwaukee. Yeah, the Series Two box is cooperating much much more nicely than the Series One box. And then there you go, Michael, another Allen Iverson for you. Won the spot in the in the filler. Got a good randomizer with the Sixers, and now a couple Allen Iversons going your way. Possible grading opportunities. Another Derek Fisher for Adam and my Lakers. To Kembe Matumbo right here. And that's a fair ball into the right field corner. Kobe. Ooh, Adam, I think this looks pretty clean, man. Oh, was there an MJ? Sorry. Here's MJ clone, Kobe Bryant. Are you thinking of Ron Harper? I didn't, I didn't think I missed a Jordan. Yeah, no, I, I don't. I don't think I missed uh, missed a Michael Jordan. Maybe you're thinking Ron Harper. Unless you're lagging and I. Yeah, no, no, no Jordans. Yeah, I don't know what the uh, what the price differences are going to be between Series One and Series Two. But, but Adam Copperman with with my Lakers looks pretty nice. The edges are pretty decent for, for like the 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 black leading all the way to the edge of the card. Corners look pretty sharp. I think the card wasn't sticking to the other card behind it. Yeah, I don't know what a series two Kobe value is from a series one. That's something to maybe look up. Do a little research on that, but uh, but yeah, I think it's pretty pretty nice. Either way, yeah. I mean, put your eyeballs on it when you get it in the mail, but just at a quick glance, you know, I'm not an expert on 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 that sort of stuff, but just at a glance to me. It looks pretty good. I mean, I don't know if it's going to get a 10 or anything like that, but... But it should be, could be a decent grade.
Am I am I breezing past these All Star MJ's? That's Gary Payton. Grant Hill. Wow. Oh. There it is. Blue uniform threw me off, Bradley. Not used to seeing like Michael Jordan in and stuff like this. Yeah, no, it's it's a good. I'm I'm like I'm, unlike other breaks, I'm like kind of focusing on making sure I'm not like being too rough with these cards. Another Allen Iverson for you, Michael. Yeah, so this this is team effort here. I'm trying to take care of these cards. Kind of focus on that. You let me know if I miss anything important. We separate okay. And remember, folks, all card ships, so everything you see here will go to their respective teams. So Adam's saying, seems like more rookies showing up in Series 2. Another Derek Fisher. So yeah, maybe maybe the Series 2 one will do better because of the, the pack issues with Series 1. And there's another Kobe right there. So that wasn't sticking to the Grant Hill card. Adam, so that's good news. There you go, a second Kobe. Send both in whenever PSA decides to open again. Maybe a couple more months. Yeah, I think from whenever, whenever they said uh, they sent out that original notice, they said three months from that date, which I think we was it end of June or end of May, April, May, June. Yeah, beginning of July. It sounded like that's when they were slated to, hopefully earlier. Maybe they were under promising and trying to over deliver, but. Not the last couple of games. Third Kobe, Adam. There we go. There we go. Yeah, Adam's going to plan to hold anyway. Yeah, so no, you could. And there's no urgency here. You just send them in. Doesn't have to be too too fast. You don't need a fast turnaround on that. 
You just let, let those marinate for as long as you want to. You, at this point, depending on the grades, you can sell a couple, keep one if you want to. What are those going for raw? Those Kobe's. Powers of power, that's a cool insert. Thirty or forty raw, gotcha. Huh? Those three already, they they add up nicely. They grade out nicely, that could be a big difference right there too. Did I, did I miss a Nash? It was Steve Nash we haven't we hadn't seen. Anyone else see a Steve Nash? And I'll I'll glance through these again and look for look for him. Good eye, good eye. So a PSA 8 went for 175. Now Chris is wondering, what about 9s and 10s? So that, that's where that's where the big jump could be. There's Steve Nash right here for the Phoenix Suns. That's going to go to that's gonna go to DJ. Dario with that one. There's another one. So ten could get up to a couple thousand. Yeah, that's not yeah, that's not bad at all. Another Steve Nash. There's a Michael Jordan. Another Ray Allen for Milwaukee, Ben. Nice Jordan. I know, Brandon. Appreciate you acknowledging that. So the last bit, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for grinding this out with me. I appreciate it. I think this that Series 1 box, yeah, it was a little rough. But I think the Series 2 box, we saw a good bit of eye candy here. So I think that I'm glad we were able to finish strong here. Which I appreciate everybody giving this a go. It's Marcus Camby right there and Jeff Hornacek. Back there, and the last one here is Sharif Abdul Rahim. I remember him. There you go. All cards ship. 
Now we got all these checklist cards right here too. We'll just collect them and this uh, number 11 card, which isn't really anything, but we'll randomize that stack of checklist cards to one person right here. So let's flip back to this list. We have some blank dice and a new list, yes. Let's grab everyone's names, pop them in here. And all cards will ship in this too. After six, name on top, we'll get those checklist cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And final time, after six, it's gonna be, there you go, Bradley wanted the checklist cards anyway. The breaking gods said, let it be so. Yeah, Garnet was the year before we learned. All right. So here's a quick little look at what we ended up getting. Michael Jordan, Ray Allen, a couple Steve Nash cards, a few Kobe's, which are pretty nice, some Derek Fisher, some more Allen Iversons, Ben Wallace, Michael Jordan All-Stars, Kobe, Derek's, AIs, Ray Allen's, Derek Fisher's. And so these are from the Series 1 box, which will have some of those surface issues. But we saw a lot of Michael Jordans here, which was pretty cool. And those all go to the Bulls. And all card ship. And there you have it. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.